This is the story of Ibn al-Haytham, a father of modern optics. He was born in Basra, Iran, in the year 965. Al-Haytham lived in the golden age of Islamic civilization. From a young age, Ibn al-Haytham was fascinated by the world around him. He spent much of his time studying the works of the great Greek philosophers and mathematicians, such as Euclid and Ptolemy. His path to success was not always smooth. He was once summoned by Al-Hakim, the sixth ruler of the Fatimid Caliphate. Caliph ordered him to control the flooding of the Nile River, which he couldn't fulfill. So he was placed under house arrest to avoid punishment for many years. During this time, he continued to work on his scientific research, including his groundbreaking work on optics. Finally, after several years, Ibn al-Haytham was released from house arrest, and he continued to make important contributions to science. Ibn al-Haytham died in the year 1040 CE in Cairo, Egypt, but his legacy lives on. Ibn al-Haytham's scientific achievements were so remarkable that he is often referred to as the father of modern optics. He made a thorough examination of the passage of light through various media and discovered the laws of refraction. He invented the first pinhole camera. His most famous work is his book, The Book of Optics. It was the first book to provide a comprehensive explanation of optics, and it had a profound influence on scientists in Europe for centuries. He wrote several other books on topics such as geometry, astronomy, and mechanics, and he also worked as an engineer and a physician. He developed a new method for determining the direction of the Qibla, still used today. He is celebrated today as a hero of science and an exemplar of Islamic scholarship, and his work had a significant impact on the European Renaissance. As he once wrote, the road to truth is long and hard, but that is the road we must follow.